if you've tried running Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 in VR, you already know it's brutal. And if you are on a RTX 30 series card from NVIDIA, you've probably been tweaking settings more than actually flying. And well, now DLSS 4.5 just dropped last week with a new super resolution model that's supposed to improve the image quality but it's also heavier to run. So the big question is, does DLSS 4.5 actually make MFSS 2024 better in VR on the 30 series card? Or should you stick with the older DLSS 4.0 model? So what's new with DLSS 4.5? Well, DLSS 4.5 Super Resolution uses a second generation transformer model. In simple terms, it's smarter and more accurate upscaler. It improves lightning accuracy, reduces ghosting, and keeps the image more stable over time, which is really, really important in VR. This is why RTX 30 series uh, simmers need to pay attention. So, this is the big thing. DLSS 4.5 runs best on a RTX 40 and 50 series cards because they support FP8 acceleration or calculations. Uh, FP8 stands for floating point 8 bit. And the RTX 20 and 30 series card just don't. They don't have that acceleration. They, they can't use FP8 acceleration. So on a 30 series GPU, DLSS 4.5 has a bigger performance hit, which means you might actually lose some FPS compared to DLSS 4.0. We are flying now here over Spain and I'm going to switch to DLSS 4.5 preset M. All this what you've been seeing now is DLSS 4 Preset K. Alright, and here we are again in um, the same airplane. Just departed the same airport. And this is with DLSS 4.5. Now, DLSS 4.5 adds two new presets. That's Model M which is designed for DLSS performance mode, which I am in now, I'm running DLSS performance mode, and model L that is meant for ultra performance. But that is usually for really high resolutions like 4K. Not really for VR, because ultra performance mode in VR, you can't really read all the placards and, and, and the instruments. So they technically work in quality, balanced, even in DLAA, but honestly, that's not where they were, were make any sense on a 30 series card. So what is the good stuff in VR? Well, let's talk about what actually improves. It should give you a smoother, more stable image. Because the biggest thing with DLSS 4.5 is the image stability. Um, it also should give you less terrain shimmer, uh, lighting flicker, uh, which should be better controlled. And the image should feel more locked in when you're moving your head. But with a 30 series card, I do see shimmering, um, especially when I, when I look outside, yeah, there, there is shimmering. And when you move your head, you can see some screen tearing in the headset, so it's not that smooth. And everything looks a little bit over sharpened. So it's not as clear as I had it before with DLSS 4.0 with preset K. So it's not really an improvement. 
and I can also show you because normally I get around 40 45 FPS and now when I go into the advanced mode here um, I just have to lower my vision a little bit I got 34 frames per second with recording my render CPU is around 20 milliseconds and my VRAM is already at 100% now so what you will get is less FPS maybe a higher VRAM usage and that's because the 30 series card cannot calculate the FP8 uh, calculations which are used with DLSS 4.0 so what is better with DLSS 4.5 is that there is less ghosting on on your instruments if you want to have a good quality um, glass cockpit without ghosting but then your FPS is a lot lower your VRAM usage is higher you really have to lower some graphic settings to get your FPS a little bit more back to where it was basically that said it's not improving much compared to what we had with DLSS 4.0 preset K my conclusion is that if you are running this with a 30 series card that you will not benefit from this except from your glass cockpit displays now if that's your main goal then please go ahead use preset uh, M model M in performance mode or model L in ultra performance mode but I don't really see much benefit from it for overall uh, simming so really it comes back to this what are the downsides of DLSS 4.5 on a 30 series card well the performance hit is real and yeah it is noticeable so because there's no FV8 support on 30 series cards DLSS 4.5 is slower than DLSS 4.0 so in VR that can be the difference between smooth flying and relying more on uh, reprojection or foveated rendering now quality mode is completely not worth it um, let me show you let me go to quality mode in here so let me switch this one go to settings go to VR now go to quality mode and then there we go and resume all right now you will see i get only 19 fps 120 percent uses of vram lots of micro stutters because well i'm all out of memory and the pc is doing all the calculations now the image looks better still it looks a little bit over sharpened but this is totally not worth it running quality mode on a 30 series card with DLSS 4.5 model M so let me switch back to ultra performance mode now this is in ultra performance mode as you can see my VRAM is still using 7.4 gigabytes 99% I'm getting about 42 or sometimes 45 FPS and my uh, render CPU time is 18 milliseconds now this is smooth but the quality of the cockpit is really terrible really terrible and unusable the gouges are blurry even the GTN 750 I cannot even read the frequencies in here even 
Well, when I got close, you can see it. Oh, it's it's just terrible. So even ultra performance, DLSS 4.5 is not usable. Let's go back to performance mode. Now, and even in performance mode, nothing really is that clear. Still a little bit blurry and over sharpened images. Should you use it? Should you use DLSS 4.5 on a 30 series video card? Uh, DLSS 4.5, well, it improves the ghosting or it eliminates the ghosting even on a 30 series card, but don't see it as a free upgrade. Really test both of the models, trust what feels best in the headset and prioritize smoothness over pixels, really that. Um, it should be smooth and really if you're gonna test it yourself, those two presets or the both the models see what's best for you. Can you still read all the uh, the cockpit gouges? Is it clearer? Is there less shimmering? Um, really try it. And let me know in a comment uh, what your findings are when you are testing Model M, Model L in ultra performance or DLSS 4.0 um, with preset K. Let me know uh, in the comments below and if this helped hit like and subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye for now, this was Mike, 30 Sim. Check the mic and make sure it sound right boys.